have sprout me and they are going to explain what they brought. Hi, my name is Kathy and that's my friend Barbara at the table. And uh, it's nice to have another vegan dinner to go to. We go to the one in Tamarack the last Friday of each month. And our company is Sprout Me. Um, does everybody know what sprouts are? No. No? Okay, sprouts, you buy little seeds. These happen to be mung sprouts from the mung beans. And then you put them in a jar, you cover it with water, you put it in a cabinet maybe mm -hmm. overnight, you empty out the water, mm -hmm. then rinse them, empty out the water, put it back in the cabinet, and then do that again at nighttime. And you do it anywhere from three to five days, depending how long it takes to the sprouts to sprout. And these are mung sprouts. Now they're actually ready to go. You'll see, you'll, they'll sprout like a little white tail on them, and then they'll just start to blossom. It's fascinating to watch. And anybody can do it, because I can do it. Why sprouts? Because sprouts are just a powerhouse of nutrition, okay? They have antioxidants, fiber, enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and it's a living food. We live by eating living foods. Now what do I mean by that? It's still alive, this is still growing. And it'll last in the fridge like, like up to two weeks. Now at some point, it's eventually not going to live anymore. But it's alive, it has that life force, and that's what we need to eat. And broccoli, there's a lot of news in broccoli about the anti-cancer properties of broccoli. Yes, you can eat broccoli, but if you do the sprouts, it's a lot easier, you won't have to eat as much. You'd have to eat 10 times more the amount of broccoli than sprouts. So we have the jars, we have the lids, and we have mung beans, broccoli, and alfalfa sprout seeds to buy. And if you have any questions, we're right over there. And I also have a little slide with more information. How are the sprouts that you're selling here different from what we would get, say, on a dish in a Japanese <coughs> restaurant? Uh, well, ours are organic Arab, for one. I don't know if theirs are, okay? Um, so we have a very reputable, reputable company, and they're, they, they send them out right away. I mean, you know, we're very pleased with, and I, we wanted organic and heirloom, if we could find, at a decent price. And we found them at a decent price. Thank you. What, do you, what is heirloom? Heirloom is original. It hasn't been hybridized or GMO'd, thank goodness. Yes. And what would be a difference between a sprouting in your own home or the one that uh, you can buy them at any store? What well, the one difference? of the biggest things is price, okay? Uh, like one to two tablespoons of alfalfa seeds will give you probably more than that little square container you find in Publix and you're paying $2.79, $2.99. Uh, broccoli sprouts, I've seen as high as $6.99 for a small container of it. You'll get four jars full if you buy the seed. Cost effective, how much time does it take you to grow them or sprout them? We're not talking about tending a garden, organic soil, watering, being sure this is out of the sunlight, this is in the sunlight. Anybody can do it. And you don't know how old that they are. You know that once these are done, they're still fresh. You know, hopefully they don't put anything on there to make them stay fresh. So how long would it stay fresh? How long would it stay fresh? In a container in your fridge for up to two weeks, give okay. or take. Yeah. You can put them in salads, smoothies, bake them in waffles, uh, biscuits, and eat them in your salad. Eat just a sprout salad if you want. I mean, the possibility is endless. Put them in a, uh, if you are not totally vegan and you do, let's say, omelets, you just put them in an omelet. You can put them in anything really. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Susie, please, can you please come up here and tell them all your dish and what is in here that uh, you brought? Yes, here it says Susie. So please, now is the time to show and tell. And this is, this is everybody the opportunity to know about other dishes and uh, yes 
What did you make for us today? Susie, could you step yes. next to oh. her? Yes. Okay, I made a tropical Susie. <laughs> wow. So I just created it. <laughs> I thought, what can I bring? And, uh, you know, I had some ingredients like uh, the quinoa and, mm -hmm. uh, and kale, and uh, I had some baby bella mushrooms and uh, onions, garlic. I started to eat them. <laughs> and uh, what else did I put? Oh, yellow pepper and uh, a little bit of olive oil, tomato sauce. And uh, fresh mint leaves, I cut them up, cilantro, and Mushrooms. fresh lemon juice, turmeric. I always put a dash of turmeric with black pepper, anti inflammatory. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and that's about it. It was delicious. And uh, yeah, I, I thought it came out nice. <laughs> and mostly organic. So Thank you. Thank you, okay. Team? Can you please come up, please? Sometimes we need to know if we buy what we're going to buy. Tim, can you please come up and say what you brought? Me? Yes. Oh, I brought the... Uh, no, come here, yes, if you want here, because here it is. Pay attention because sometimes we don't know how to buy, but he knows how to buy and what to bring. She said, don't ever bring artichokes and oil. A lot of people don't like oil. So I brought quartered artichokes, artichoke hearts canned in water. No oil, no spices. Just just, just plain artichoke hearts. Thank so you she very said much. she said do not bring the uh, artichokes in oil. In oil. It, some people, just, uh, I prefer the oil. Just in water. I prefer the oil, but some people don't like the oil. Yeah. Uh, we know that uh, whole, base, whole food plant-based refers to healthy vegan uh, eating and it includes uh, not, to use, not to use oils. Why oils? Because oils uh, clog all your arteries, it affects everything and so that's why I would suggest uh, that people um, Try to read the book of uh, Esseltine, Dr. Esseltine, The Last Heart Attack, and he, he explained clearly about oils. It's not that you, okay. Do you mean any type of Esseltine, all oils, oils, yes. Including olive? Including olive oil, okay. So, not to cook with oils, you can watch the documentary Forks Overnight, where Dr. Esseltine also um, talks about the oils and what it produces and what it causes, all right? So that is why when we bring things here, we have to make sure that it is a, a healthy vegan. So it is a whole food plant-based, not with oils. And if you buy something like you try to prepare to buy in water and um, watch for the sodium and not in oil. Uh, next one, okay, yes. So even in your salad, you cannot use oils? Is that what you're saying or just cooking? It's just cooking. If you want, you can add some, but not to cook. You can add a little bit. If you have problems with arteries or if you are overweight, I advise that you re really check for your arteries. All of a sudden, you end up with clogged arteries. They take you directly and they have to open up and do what they have to do. So this is, this is the, the, the educational part that we try to do and most conventional chef and most doctors said have oils. So please watch the documentary Forks Overnight or go to YouTube and just put the last heart attack, Dr. Esseltine or Heart Health and it will show, tells you exactly all the research of Dr. Caldwell Esseltine. Uh, thank you. The next one, who wants to be next? Because 
Carlos, you want to be next? Come and explain what you brought, please. Are you ready? Oh, he's eating, so let me know. Who, who wants to come now to explain? Uh, did you bring, did you make anything today? No. So, um, Hello. broccoli sprout, Barbara and Kathy already, okay. I have an addition to one of your remarks. Yes? I have an addition to one of your remarks. Yes. Go ahead, please. You said not to cook olive oil with olive oil. Olive oil has the lowest breakdown temperature, and you should never cook with olive oil. Olive oil should only be used with raw food. That's it. This is what I say exactly. Not right. to cook. But I'm trying to explain. Not to cook, that yes. That olive oil has the low of all the oils, yes. peanut oil and all the oil, it has the lowest breakdown temperature. So it's not good for cooking. Thank you very much. You see what I said about in raw, you can put it if, if you don't have any health problems. Thank you very much. So now, for now, I just need to move on because we have a lot of things and then we can continue, okay? Um, I am willing to discuss it later on the, um, who else? Who else want to, to say, Linda, what did you bring today? I don't see your, uh, yes, sir. it's not in here, but you always bring something very yummy, but even though you can, without reading it, okay? Uh, Jeff, we cannot hear, they are talking there, I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, but, okay, I'm sorry for now. Hello? Please. Yes, okay. No, I don't have the card. Okay, I made the yummy hummy hummus, which is a combination of organic carrots, sunflower seeds, Okay. Uh, Trinidadian curry powder, light miso, garlic and apple cider vinegar, and a touch of love. And there were shredded carrots over it and sunflower seeds on top of it. And it's all raw, all vegan, no salt. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Carlos? Yes. <clears throat> he made a uh, chip, it says in here, he wants to go to the over here and then answer what did you make? You know, yes. Uh, I made the, uh, the like chip dip. I tried to make it kind of taste like, uh, I kind of tried to make it taste like uh, chicken wing sauce. But actually, better than chicken wing sauce. Uh, it has potato, carrot, red pepper, uh, nutritional yeast, Himalayan sea salt, and water. First, you boil the potato and the carrot, and you blend it, and add the red pepper and the nutritional yeast and the salt, and wait for it to cool down a little bit. It coagulates a little more, and then. You can have it. Tastes good. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else who made, I did not acknowledge, that make any other dish and did not acknowledge? Raise your hand, please. No? Okay. I want to tell, yes, you? No. I want to tell you uh, that the air safe brings food for every uh, public. We bring, we try to bring the best, and the uh, hummus that is organic, and uh, the chips that are also organic. We also, the organization, RSA brings the um, sauerkraut, the organic uh, baby greens, uh, the desserts, there are two types. 
we have we bring the wheat, the fig, the wheat um, cookies, fig fig bars, and then the other the Z bar. These are for these are gluten free for people who cannot eat. Um, I want to remind you that EarthAid is a non-profit organization and receives donation and every month they spend money in bringing this food and some and I make for example today uh, I make the brown rice and this is all with the uh, EarthAid funds so whenever you can donate a little bit more we, we appreciate because we need donations and all the food and the best that we try to bring every month. Uh, thank you very much. This is show and tell. I hope that uh, you learn and any other question then I can answer later on based on this one. And this is a party and today, what is the next vegan man? What is our next? activity that we are going to do or is there any other thing you want to make any other um, announcement right now yes yes